Hello friends and welcome back to Thriftmas. Today is day four and we are visiting one of our local Habitat for Humanities. Now, if you are new here and new to my channel, during this thrift miss season, I am visiting 24 different thrift stores and comparing them on a wonderful spreadsheet based on cost and store ambiance. You can check out day one of thrift miss to get all the details there. But for now, hit all those buttons people talk about and let's jump right into it. This is Habitat for Humanity. This is also the headquarters of Alibaba. Oh gosh. <laughs> Need to do some drop shipping? Let's go. <laughs> sale. What's today's sale? Spend $5, get 20% off. That's an interesting sale. That's the one I've never seen. Oh, it's a very cute birdhouse. Very cute. Ooh, those are nice. Very cool. Good present. It's a cute little cookie jar. Some ketchup bottles. Here's another fancier. Oh, they're masks. That's what all this was. Yeah. This is a fancier. Yeah, I like that one. The cut glass. This one's three. Or maybe crystal. There's another one. Mm -hmm. oh. This one's glass for sure. Yeah. This yeah. one might be crystal though. <gasps> Green mystery. Touched it. <laughs> Sounds crystal. It tings. It tings. It, it rings. Yeah, these are crystal. They're cute. They're very cute. What are they? $10 each are large pendant lights. They're metal. Wow. Wow, they're cool. They're all like cast iron. Oh. Oh, do you love those? Do you need any Christmas lights? I mean, obviously not that seat cover. Right. That's easy to fix, though. I don't see it. No price. It's on a cord? Nope. <laughs> what about other basic wear? Oh, yeah. This one's 95. Oh. Okay. A solid brass one, I guess. This guy. Nope. Not light bulb. Look at what it not looking good, restore. Here, 35. I think that's that's pretty. Oh, this one's also 35. It's the ceiling. Oh, do this spin? Yeah, those are pretty cool. That's fun. Again, just too expensive. Everything's marked down, you know? Mm. 
It's a very cute set. I love the cushions. Or fitty. On clearance. Pair conference. Pair leather conference. It's probably also 25, yeah. Using. It has uh, some sort of leak. It's leaking out the bottom. What'd you find? Collapsible stuff. Collapsible bowls. And storage and pampering. Oh. Cool. I like these things. I do like them. Once I buy them, they never get collapsed though because they get filled with stuff. <laughs> That's true. It's the expensive stuff. And now it is time to rate the ambiance of the Habitat for Humanity thrift store in Lake Worth, Florida. Cleanliness, a four. It was pretty dusty and dirty <laughs> in there. The staff was pretty absent in this store. There were people on the floor, but they were few and far between. I would put them at a five. The merchandise, when it comes to being stocked, it was such a weird layout of the store. There were items and they were priced weirdly too. Some were like the price was just not even on it and then some were just like $150. So I would I would probably rate them a six. Crowds, crowds were non-existent here. It was pretty nice just having the whole building to yourself. <laughs> I mean, there were a few other people, but overall it was re relatively uncrowded, so they get an 8 for that. Was money spent? It was not. There wasn't anything that I wanted to buy, and I liked those Converse, but not for $25, so I'm going to give them a 4. Good sales. The only sale on the board was if you spent $5, you get 20% off your purchase. Kind of a weird sale. Uh, I don't know. Middle of the road, so you get a, also a 5. MISC, high prices, so you get a negative one. And that leaves with a pretty an abysmal score of 27. Let's see how the merchandise pricing worked out. Okay, so this is the total for our trip. If we were to buy all of these items, including that lamp that we couldn't find pricing on some of the smaller lamps that I wanted to use for this test. According to the, all the other prices of the lamps around them, I thought $35 for this environment was pretty reasonable. So let's compare this to the other stores. Ouch, so this is the highest price store so far. I'm not surprised, really. This right now is in last place, in my opinion. Let's look at the number rating compared to all the other stores. Again, coming in last place with 27. This might, this one might be hard to beat <laughs> in that bad category. I don't know, maybe I'm speaking too soon. I think I'm going to be passing on this store going forward. It's just, not my cup of tea. Maybe it's the weird layout. Maybe it's just a little bit of high prices, but 
uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be coming back to this one for a little while. But uh, anyways, we'll see you in the next video and I'll see you for Thriftmas Day 5. Bye now.